your soul magical witch girl with the powers untold she'll cast a spell make your heart skip a beat fruitsy collins she's got that magic touch with her spells and potions she'll charm you so much fruitsy collins she's a witch like no other like no other in her jazzy world, you'll be under her spell forever, forever, forever. Oh, thank you, Goop. I messed up the camera work on the bit. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Let me start the music back up. Oh, I pressed the slime cam button. Uh, I meant to press the wake up button. They're right next to each other. <laughs> Forever and ever, ever, yes, indeed. <laughs> Goop, uh, uh, known by uh, their stage name, Estelle. How's everybody? Uh, tonight we're going to be doing some uh, some holiday art. Um, we're gonna work on some of my textures, because I want to do, like, a red and white, uh, like, Santa Claus thing. As, as big of a rivalry as they have with Santa Claus, which we're not gonna get into right now. Um, yeah, uh, we're, we're gonna be doing some of that to get all festive and shit. I got some programming done on the kind of gift box thing, so that should be ready for December. Let's check out your slimes, see how everybody's doing. I could get into it, that's true. Well. I need to um to come up with more of the lore between me and uh, Santa's rivalry. Let's see, we got Sweet Pea there, we got Goop there, who was just performing the theme song. I added a little like lower third in the corner to make it like a music video. I also commissioned somebody to make a um a piano version of Fly Me to the Moon to uh replace the ending theme. So we and I'll have rights to it, so it's, we don't get a copyright strike. Very nice apple, Halo. 
let's see. Yeah, we got Halo there. We got Rabbit somewhere. Is that Rabbit off, off to the side there? Let me see if I can shove the slimes around a bit. I see a bow. What's Rabbit doing over there? Is Rabbit scheming? There, there, there's Rabbit. <laughs> plotting something as long as you stay away from my guitar i got i got rid of the uh the decal um accepts decal checkbox on the uh on the space base so that thing's safe for now all right let's go back to the avatar so since we got a couple of folks in here is it a guitar or a bass um yeah it is a bass guitar yeah but it is based off of um bootsy collins's space bass let me actually get a picture of the real thing Okay, so... So yeah, Bootsy Collins is a bass player that has had a couple of guitars that are shaped like stars, because that's sort of his whole, like, motif. Um, the one that I based it off of was this one that Warwick made. Um, let me get a larger picture of it. Oh, that's a big-ass picture. Oh wait, no it's not. It's a link to a big-ass picture. Hang on a sec. Oh my god, this is taking forever to load. There we go. Yeah, so it's a big it's a big purple star base, and I would really like one of these, but it's expensive as fuck, so I made my own. That's usually what I do when I um can't afford something. I make a 3D model of it and I put it in my fake in my fake office. You think about building one for me? Wait, do you build? Do you build guitars? I'm confused and intrigued. Let's see. I think we are going to go ahead and get a slime. Can I play the bass? Um, after a fashion, I do have a bass guitar. Um, IRL. I'm looking at it right now. I haven't touched that thing in like two years, so um, not really. I would like to pick it back up. Um, I do play the uh, ukulele. Also very poorly, but that is something I've played more recently. Hello, Marengo. How's it going? Very good to see you. We're just about to get a... Uh, uh, oh, I just got a message from Dead Sun Prime. Hang on a second. I'm going to check that out real quick. Let me just send a message. Oh my god, my facial tracking went off. Hang on. Let's go to the slide cam while I send a message to Dead Sun. Yeah. Um, Dead Sun wants to play Fork Knife with me and uh, Big Lee later, so I'm just sending, saying that I'm going to stream first. Okay, there it is. Sorry about that. A little time sensitive. Uh, doing more woodworking since my partner started building guitars. Very, that's, that is cool. I'm going to have to learn how to, I'm going to have to get used to playing bass again. And then I'm probably going to have to buy an effects pedal to do that that weird ass like boom bootsy sound because that will be that will be very cool. So if, if you build me a bass, I will learn how to play the bass that if that's a deal. <laughs> Don't make me a bass guitar. That sounds fucking expensive. <laughs> Lurking until you finish your chores. Oh, Morphine. Hello. Very good to see you. We are about to um, uh, start a slime race. So if you would like to do that before you start your chores, we're going to get that started. And if not, that's okay. But we're gonna go to Slime Race Island. Oh, Reap here! Hello! Talking about music? Yeah, talk about how I can't do music. <laughs> oh, Redis Rabbit, your generosity knows no bounds, but I might have to... I might have to set some bounds because I feel uncomfortable taking advantage of your generosity. <laughs> go ahead, type exclamation point play. If you would like your little one to join the racetrack, we've got eight slimes available. Weirdness Master, hello, good to see you. Cup is a cat, oh, I'm gonna shout out Cup is a cat because I don't get to do that because Cup has only been on a couple of times, but I'm very happy to see him. Yeah, I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you guys what Cup is a cat is all about uh, after the slime race. We've got two more spots available. Lots of cool people are coming out of the woodwork here. Let's see, uh, Rapier says I should make a new song soon, but Cody's whooping my ass. Oh, do you make music, Rapier? German Tanker, Johnny, hello! <laughs> uh, let's see, been here more than a couple of times, Sneaky Lurker. 
I do know that cats um, do have the ability to teleport. At least I know my cat does. Because they, they, they can be very sneaky. Okay, I think we've got eight uh, eight beans on the field, so we're gonna... Steez, hello, big le... What is the... Dead Sun Prime! There's, there's too many cool people in here. God damn. <laughs> Let's start the race. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome for the show at Cup as a Cat. I'll, sh I'll show... Um, I'll, sh I'll show a little clip of yours when we get back. Remind me. All right. But for now, we're off to the races. Rabbit falling behind a little bit, but it is still very early. Uh, if you're new here, um, typing cheer will wake up your slime if they fall asleep. And if uh, you get like a repeat uh, message thing, anything with cheer in it will work. So you can get around it that way. I don't have a way of getting rid of it completely, aside from making everybody VIPs, which I can't do because there's only so many slots available. But anyway, we are getting to the bottom of Bunny Hill. Rapier's little one goober it has a very narrow lead. But it's still very early on in the race. Things are tightening up, as Archie Bell and the Drills would say. And as I would say, because I keep making that stupid joke that nobody but me finds funny at all. But I'm going to keep doing it as we get to Waterfall Bridge. The the, the, uh, the very treacherous log suspension bridge that's held up by video game low-poly hand waviness and wishes. Um... <laughs> Oh, Brief here says I made three official releases and a bunch of jingles. I'm gonna have to catch your stuff later. Send me a message on Discord where I can find uh, your work. I'd love to review it. Because I'm gonna definitely forget while I'm streaming, because I have streamer bearing something something fierce. Goober is has made it across their geyser very deftly. Uh, everybody's gonna have to put in some work to catch up with Goober. But, you know, R and Jesus works in mysterious ways. And by mysterious, I mean can really fuck over people's days like they're doing with Halo, their Halo getting knocked back. Oh, Goober falling asleep. That's what I was talking about uh, with, with RN Jesus, as RN Jesus is letting Sweepy catch up a little bit. Cup is a cat's little one. Oh, n a new world record for Slime Race Island. Congratulations to Goober. Sweet Pea coming in second. I believe Cup is a Cat's Little One came in third. You will all be winning prizes. But we're going to let everybody else finish up because you're all winning the prize of my heart because I like these slimes a lot. That was a dumb segue. <laughs> Rabbit falling asleep. Oh, who, who's this? No, Weirdness Monsters Little One. It's hard to read these usernames sometimes. I gotta put, like, a stroke around them or something. Congratulations to Rabbit and Weirdness Master catching up. Slimely taking a little bit of a nap. Slimely's our special boy slash boys. Drop Shadow, absolutely. Hashtag Drop Shadow. Alright, congratulations. All of these eight beans, we're gonna see what the three beans won on Slimery's Results Island. Oh, you didn't fall asleep once? Or didn't fall asleep forever. I might have misread that. Congratulations to Goober. Goober's gonna win a little gold feather, and hopefully we don't get a crash. <laughs> Sweet Pea winning a little Chrono Trigger boss song. Very, very startling. Oh, a much nicer Chrono Trigger song on the Fisher Price piano. I and mean, then Goober's gonna win a spell. Oh, very nice ice spell, Goober. And we didn't get a crash. Oh, uh, Weirdness Master says, uh, apologies if you, uh, talk to me at any point. Fruit, say I'm working for another 18 minutes and on calls. No audio for me. Oh, not a problem at all, Weirdness Master. I know you can't hear me, but friendship. <laughs> oh, Boom! Hello! <laughs> boom is another friend of the show. We're, I was about to shout out, uh, friendship. That's some prime. Oh, right. Yeah, if you talk during the race, the, the friend shelf check doesn't, uh, trigger. So, yeah. <laughs> Dead Sun. Hello, Dead Sun. We got so many dang cool people in here. I got a tiny, tiny ass hat. Okay, I said I was going to shout out uh, Cup as a cat. I think I've already shouted them out, but I'm going to show a clip of Cup. We're going to go to the slime cam while I do that. Uh oh. Oh, wait, no, we're not going to do that. Oh, I messed up the Bagman boogie. I'm sorry about that, Boom. We're gonna go find a clip of Cup as a Cat. Okay, found their profile. 
So, oh, there I am. I guess the camera went back without me. Let's see. Oh, um, well, I'll probably, just in case, I'll play it without sound, because mostly I just want to get a visual of how adorable Cup as a Cat is. So yeah, Cup as a Cat the, is a... started to get sweaty when oh, the yeah. altar went up. Let me turn that off, just in case it has some T for Team language. Cup as a Cat is a, uh, a VTuber of sorts. Um, they are a, a, an adorable little cat puppet and a very charming uh, uh, host and streamer, and I always really enjoy... Um, going in there and playing around with the uh, meme zoom redeem, um, and I always have a good time. Um, yeah, look at look how fucking cute Cup is. Yeah, you should definitely check out Cup's uh, channel when you get a chance. D damn it! <laughs> Sorry, Cup. I had to use T for team language. <laughs> Let's see. Let me catch up with chat. Okay, lots of cheers, cheer, cheer. Weird people say cheer in my chat a lot. It's very strange. I, I gotta look at my analytics. Dead Sun Prime is in there using the emotes. Gained himself a new follower. Yeah, you're not going to regret it, the Big Lee. Let's see. Yeah, I found out about Cup as a Cat from a uh, from fellow friend of the show, Noodle Cat Does Things, because uh, she has a redeem where she can look like a cute little cat puppet. Okay, so. Super Elseco, hello! There's so many dang people in here. Channel's really been blowing up lately, so if I get um overwhelmed trying to keep up with chat, uh, please forgive me, uh, because I'm still kind of a small-time streamer and things are, um, kind of snowballing, which is scary and, um, and also very cool. Um, so, let me catch my breath. Okay, what? Oh, no, I've been pumpkin potion. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> waka waka! Um, I have this cool idea, and if I never, and if I never do it, um, then I'll never do it. I don't know where that sentence was going, but I I, I kind of have this idea. Oh, tail, very cool. <laughs> yeah, um, the tail looks very cool. Um, so one idea I want to do is have like a text to speech thing, keep track of what I'm saying, and then somehow, some way, get a title card to show up with the thing that I just said to be like a silent movie kind of thing. I don't know if it's uh, it's possible. Uh, it's probably possible, it might be too much dang work for a five minute redeem, but I don't know. It's, it's a pie in the sky idea. Uh, but tonight, uh, for now, we're going to be doing very possible, yeah. I'm sure Dead Sun Prime, f friend of the show, could figure out how to do it, because he's, he's a fucking Unreal Engine, uh, wizard. Um, a very nice Chrono Trigger song. I believe that might be the one that somebody just learned. I forget whose it was. Thank you for the head pads. I did a little bit of work. Oh, that's a, well, I'm sure that was a nice color, uh, Cup as a Cat. Um, let me think, that's, so 100% red, a little bit green, that's probably yellow. I'm guessing that's yellow if I know my RGB. And Cup as a Cat's, like, whole, uh, uh, like, aesthetic. Um, I'm not even gonna dignify that with a, with an answer, Dead Son. This is a, this is a special place where nothing bad happens. Um, but... What was I saying? Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing some uh, uh, retexturing of things tonight because December's coming up. Holy shit, it's coming up fast. Um, so we need to do some like decorating for the holiday. Oh hi, Whisper. How's it going, buddy? That's our that's our ghost Whisper. But thank you for watering, Mandy. We are going to um, change my outfit to be like red and white to look a little more uh, holiday-ish. Um, I'm, oh, and what I was saying before is that I did a little bit of work on the um, possible causes of the crashing problem. Stream's holding up okay so far, so we'll see if it, if all the stuff that I did results in us not crashing every five seconds because the channel's growing and I would like it to look professional when we start getting big numbers. Which So, yeah. Does Whisper get a hat for the holidays? Whisper is incorporeal. Um, I could... If I put a hat on a Whisper, it would probably just fall onto the ground. Um, Whisper... Uh, doesn't really interact with the outside world very much. So I gotta figure out, so I gotta get like ghost hunters in here and figure out how to talk to this boy. Um, I, I do feel very cold when he passes through me though. It's the only interaction I have with the, with the, with the little dude. Marengo says, uh, okay. Marengo is talking about possible ways of doing the, uh, silent movie thing. I might have to talk to a couple of people about that and see how feasible that is of an idea. You need me to get rid of them. 
you take it we're whisper no we like we love whisper 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 is a good bean let's see maybe if we hang it from the ceiling he'll pass under it sometimes and look like he's wearing it that's yeah that could work hmm yeah we'll we'll think i would like to incorporate whisper into more things it's just tough because he he only intersects with our dimension sometimes <laughs> god i'm talking a mile a minute let me catch my breath a little bit I'm trying to be entertaining, but also trying not to be completely delirious. So what we're going to do first is that this is the low poly uh, mode texture. So we're just going to do some like hue saturation to make things like red and white instead of uh, like purple and purple because I make everything purple. So you guys aren't going to be able to see what I'm doing in color. For another couple of minutes, but yeah, that's red. That big gray blob there, that's red. So we're going to try to do this through as little effort as possible. So we're just going to use a hue node, and then I think I'll put a multiply node on top of that just to get rid of... Oh, I've been inundated with Wind Waker water. Ah, oh, dang it, you guys. You know how much water damage that's going to do? Ah, oh, heck. <laughs> Got old Curtis Mayfield on the radio. You meant to water Mandy? Well, yeah, that doesn't water Mandy. It waters everything else, though. It's probably better not to get salt water on Mandy. There we go. I don't think you're going to get a lot of fruit out of her for salt water. Let's see how the slimes are doing. How's this place not falling apart with all the water and stuff? Well, just wait a minute, Ray Pierre. Things might fall apart uh, because of crashes. <laughs> Looks like the slimes are doing okay. Okay, yeah, so you see what I'm doing here is just I'm taking what was once purple and making it red. So we're kind of doing this in a very lazy way. Oh, good. Water's gone. Goober's behaving well. Let's see. We don't want it to be too obvious that we just are doing hue saturation on things. Um, I do want to make the collar white. So we're going to fill that with white. So it'll be like, the parts that are yellow on my hat are going to be white, I think, and then the rest of it's going to be red. And I think we'll keep this... Yeah, maybe we can keep the stars yellow. Oh, we had a baby. Let's see. It looks like Ray Pierre and Mowgli had a baby. Ooh, that little orange one. Very cute. Oh, and Rocky's eating a spooky fruit. Very nice. And Rocky, I haven't forgotten the issue with the... Um, the shield inside your slime's butt. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to address all of the problems we've been having. But hopefully things aren't crashing. <laughs> right here, you do have a child. A new soul arrived. And someone else does as well. Shield butt, absolutely. I think it might be a cape. <laughs> I remember, right? Uh, Marengo and Bay Ray Games. Oh, Bay Ray Games, I remember you. I'm sorry if I missed your, uh, message. If he said hi, uh, I also say hi back. Sorry if I missed it. Okay, so that's the dress part of the low poly model. And I think this is also part of the dress. So we'll put that over there. Thank you for watering, Mandy. You like its egg hat? Yeah. <laughs> Goober's grown up so fast. <laughs> I think you did just meet them the other day. But I'm guessing that was the joke. At least you're not crashing my stream with head pats. Did the head pat happen? Uh, Super Elsoka, if you could try a head pat again, 
I know we might be tempting fate, but I want to see if I fix the problem. Hello, Lossy Buns! Very good to see you! We got a lot of cool folks in here tonight. Oh, there we go! Yeah! Yeah, I put in a, a couple of checks just to make sure that, like, you know, I, I I think there's been something weird about people's um, usernames being the wrong color across like different parts of Twitch and things that the API is interacting with. Like, so your name is green, Super Osako, in my preview window for Streamlabs, but the text render thing up there is making it red and then. What color is your slime's text? I'm not sure where yours is. Okay, yeah. Yeah, your text is kind of bluish. Yeah, Dead Sun's saying it's a Twitch API problem. Yeah, Dead Sun's been having an issue with um a similar thing where you can summon ghost in his like Halloween section of his stream, and the ghost for some users become like weird ass colors. Oh hello, uh Toph and Jubu. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, so one of the things that I did to try to fix the crashing is that I'm not passing the um, username's color into the, like, redeem queuing system, because I think that might have been tripping it up a bit, so we're just ignoring that part, because none of the redeems use... Um, the username color anyway. The only thing that uses the username color are the slimes like text render thing on top of their head. And that's not done through the redeem queuing system anyway. That's just like whenever somebody chats. Um, and then I did a bunch of other shit that hopefully will help. Cause so far, so good. We don't have any, any crashes so far. Spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. Absolutely. So, what color should my glasses be for... Should my glasses be white or red? I think we'll go red for now. We'll see how that looks later. Thank you for watering, Mandy. We got a little Funkadelic cover on the radio that I'm enjoying. Oh, seven sturdy fruit. You're almost there. Uh -huh. Let's see. Spooky and sturdy. Oh, I know what it's spooky and sturdy is. That's a form nobody's found yet. But we might find it tonight. I might have to update the website if you get ten of them in there. How are you lately for I'm pretty good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, 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 I've been very happy with how much attention the, the, the channel's been getting lately. And a little bit overwhelmed. But, you know, I need to grow as a host and uh, be, uh, learn how to relax a little bit when I see big numbers. Oh, thank you for watering, Mandy. <laughs> getting there. I love the new emotes. Yeah! Um, so, Julie, a uh, friend of the show, gave a shitload of gifted subscriptions, and that got me... Um, over the like subscriber points number that lets me do more emotes so we have a new animated one in there um and i have another slot available uh that i might do like padlock chomping coins that might be our other animation not quite sure that one would be a lot harder to animate than the head pats one but you know <laughs> hope the overwhelming stuff goes away soon well <laughs> i don't want the overwhelming stuff to go away soon i just Want to not be as overwhelmed by it, if that makes sense. Hey, yeah. Uh, okay. Take a breath for it. See. I think I'll make the glasses red, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. I was thinking of making them white, but I think red would be better. Let's see if your headpads work. Did they work? Hmm. Turn the view counter. Well, it's um, it's not the view counter. It's more just like how much activity is in chat. Yeah, I'm not looking at the view counter. 
I do see the raid numbers, though. Thank you for watering me, Eddie. Oh, Mandy's almost there. Mandy should have a candy cane. You mean like like grow a candy cane on the top of her head? So that's not resulting in the color that I want, really. So we'll we'll have to do something different for the glasses. In her hand? I I don't know if she's those hands are really for gripping. <laughs> Mandy Kane, very, very nice, Lissy Buns. I saw, I, I caught what you're throwing. Oh, very nice animal crossing. We feel. Let's see. Let's huge satch this thing. Make it reddish. Yeah, that's the right hue. There we go, that works for the glasses, I think. Oh, eating a feisty fruit. Oh, very nice dark spell. My boy Goop knows a level 2 dark spell, and I want him to cast it. Oh, speaking of spooky. Let's see if Goop can... There we go! There's his dark 2 spell. <laughs> Good boy, Goop. That's my boy. Oh, big fruit. Big and Mecca. Yeah, I think I know what you're going to turn into. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, in five minutes, that big ass egg is going to turn into something cool. Very nice ice spell, Goober. Looking very spiffy with your... With your gold feather. Okay, so we'll make the... This is for the shoes, so I think we'll... We'll make the shoes a little bit of a darker red. You're never gonna see them, but... Goober can do ice? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's see. I should probably be keeping track of what numbers I'm doing for these. See, we'll merge these together. That's probably a better idea. Uh, what part of the model is this? I forget what part this... Oh, I think this is the band for the hat. Actually, let's open up Blender so I know what part is which. Yeah, we'll open the low poly avatar in, the, in Blender. If I can find the file. I think that's under here, and then low poly? Hmm. Low poly, there we go. I think that's it. Okay, there's the low poly avatar in all of her glory. So, we're going to figure out which part is which. So, this... Uh, part of the body is this. Wait, where is this? Okay, that's the... Okay, I see. This is the brim of the hat. Okay, and then... 
That's the top of the hat. Okay. Okay, so we need to treat those two like a piece. So it's this part and this part here. Okay. So we'll copy this over. Merge that with this stuff. And then what's this part? Oh, that's a cool color. Yeah, if you make the slimes dark enough, um, it will invert the eye color. That's a very that's a very nice color. What is this part here? What is this map to? Oh, well, not safe for work there. Sorry about that. Look at that! Look at that detail, hubba hubba. Um. Okay, yeah, so we'll probably have to grab that as well. Make sure that gets hue satched the same way. Did we miss anything? This is the inner lining of the hat. I don't think we need to worry about that. That's going to stay spacey. I wonder if my hair should be white for December. <laughs> Oh, almost there. <laughs> Very high pitched voice. There we go. Now that's now that's festive. Uh, Cup as a Cat says, I was just reading about colors and I'm trying to make my slime more orange, but there was no change last time I redeemed it. Did it zoom in on your slime or did it, um, just, did it zoom on your slime and not have an effect at all? Or did it just flat out not, like, react to you redeeming it? It zoomed in but stayed the same color. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Slimes V has turned into a Icosahedra slime. Very nice ice spell, sweet pea. Look at Steez in their <laughs> polygonal glory. <laughs> Little D20 slime. Very nice. Probably a skill issue on your end. Um, It might just be that the color didn't have a very drastic change. If it was similar. Oh, thank you for the rainbow hair. Because if it did zoom in on your slime, it should have done something, even if it didn't have a great result. Oh, uh, Rapier, fangs are... Th that was a, um, a October uh, exclusive item. Yeah, so you, you weren't here in October, so you don't have permission to equip that. Yeah, unfortunately, that was a limited time item. I'll, I'm going to go ahead and um, take a note of you redeeming that, and then after the stream, I'll, I'll cancel those points so you get those back. Let's see. Oh, that is not the notes I keep for the stream. Okay, so Ray... Year 334. Uh, refund... Uh, what was it? Uh, fangs. We'll just do that. Yeah, I'll refund those points for you after the stream. <laughs> yeah, anybody who, um... I, there was probably a chat like bot message about it, but um, anybody that types in here um, during the month of December or no, during the month of November will unlock the mushroom hat. Oh, that's a cool color. Um, yeah, you'll unlock the mushroom hat. And then if you want to equip that hat in the future, you do it through the special um, items redeem menu. Um, 
but yeah, you, you don't have to actually equip it to have permission to unlock in the future, if that makes sense. I, I changed it so that like people don't like forget to redeem it uh, when they're in here. So yeah, just uh, being in chat uh, during the month of that item will give you permission for that item, if that makes sense. Yeah, I de decided to change that because that was causing some confusion. Hotwood, very nice. Okay, there we go. That's a little more... We got some of that purple out of there. And I think we'll make... This is the trim of the boot, I believe. Thank you for watering, Mandy. Axe, very cool. And then we'll make this more blue. <laughs> Precious. Very nice name. Okay, so which part is the... What is this part of the hat? Okay, that's this. So I would like that to be white. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. You're making a... I have a feeling I know what you're going to try to evolve your slime into. Maybe. I don't want to assume, but... I have an inkling. Okay, so we want this to be white. To be santa -y. You can't really get its workout? Well, as long as it doesn't crash, I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, for those that are, there are some new people in here. So um, what I'm talking about with the crashes is that um, so a lot of the redeems will pull the camera toward your slime or towards other stuff in the scene. Um, beforehand, it was like complete chaos where like if somebody headed their slime while somebody else was like donating or uh, or subscribing to the channel um the camera would get pulled away from the first thing um and interrupted by the second thing so we in we uh, implemented a system that kind of cues things up um so that one thing will happen after another and they don't uh interrupt each other uh ever since i implemented that we we've, we've been getting a lot of crashes I changed some stuff around since the last stream, and so far things are holding together. So um, we're I'm gonna keep I'm gonna pray on it and hope it keeps keeps that way. Oh, there we go, Mandy girl, strawberry. She's been growing a lot of strawberries lately. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll get a crash and she'll get a chance to grow something else. <laughs> oh, very cute turtle. After I finish this texture, I think we'll have another slime race. We're getting to the end of this texture, I think. So we want this to be white, so I think we'll hue shift at the blue. Because blue is a nice kind of, sh like, shade color for white, I think. I think that'll look good. And, uh, what else do we want to be white on here? Okay, this the brim on this hat. Let's see. Yeah, we'll keep the stars yellow, but I think we want the brim to be white. Yeah, so we'll we'll make the very tippy top white. So that would be this part here. So we'll just bright, we'll shift that to bluish and then lighten it up. Actually, we'll just grab. Was this? Yeah, this is just one solid color, so we don't need to worry about adding shading in there. Oh, you're lurking? Yeah, Redis Rabbit, I, I'm very happy that you're here. Redis Rabbit's one of the biggest friends of the show, so I, I, I enjoy your lurk, Redis Rabbit.
Let's see, we'll make it the same color as this, I think. Okay, so... Oh, very nice Space Invader. Precious. Okay, so we've got red dress, and then red brim on the hat, and then white there. This is the inside of the dress, so that's red. And then we just want the stitching on the hat to be white, so... <laughs> I think the boy looks pretty good. AFK, but have stream open? Oh, oh, your answer, Moringa, you're, you're answering Mowgli's question. Yeah, yeah, that's what that means. I, I didn't know what that meant for a while either. Yeah, just kind of a way of like, um, like supporting the channel even in absence. Because the numbers help. Okay, I think that's. This might still be a little too purpley. Let me blue shift that a little more. There we go. I think that'll be good for the Santa texture. We'll keep. Yeah, we'll keep the inside spacey and we'll keep the star yellow. I think we'll keep the hair purple. Or whatever color it gets redeemed to. So we'll make that um, Santa. Yeah, okay, I want to make sure I don't save over because we had the original one open. We don't want to do that. So let's just see how that looks. Make sure I didn't make any dumb mistakes. So we'll go to the shader editor, body.png. Go into ready for Unreal, low poly, body, Santa. Okay, the dress is a bit bright. Yeah, I might tone down the dress a bit. Because we want it to kind of match the hat. So. Okay. Okay, so this is the hat. So we'll copy that color. So what was it's this part? This is the yeah, that's the brim of the hat. So that's fine. So we kind of want this these two parts to match. So once we fix this up, we'll have another slime race. Not saving. Okay, yeah, we're just saving over this file. You came to steal all my polygons. I don't know if that'll work. Well, at least the stream didn't crash. <laughs> I'll put myself in low poly mode for you after I welcome me to say hello. Very good to see you. Yeah, Super Old Sucko, I don't know what's happening with your redeems, but at least the stream's not crashing, so. But yeah, I'll do low poly for you. Ah, oh, dang, ah, oh, beans have been low polyed. Ah, oh, dang it. Super Old Sucko, I'll get you. Actually, I won't, because I can't shake my fist at you, because I don't have hand tracking on the low poly model. I was working on that the other day, and it turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it was. 
Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Super Earl Soko. I'm just going to go through after the stream and I'll just go through your redeems and refund like a lot of them. So you'll, ha you'll end up having a lot of points. I'll just say refund a ton of shit. Sorry for my language. <laughs> Seven big fruit. We're gonna have another long slime on our hands. Ooh, we got some forget me nots. Yeah, I play I play this there's a there's a Fortnite dance that I do when I'm playing Fortnite with uh with Dead Sun that plays this song, but Dead Sun never hears it because uh, he's got streamer mode on, which stops um uh licensed music from playing so they don't get copyright strights. Oh yeah, T for teen. <laughs> we got a new emote that I like to pair with T for teen. Um I like this one. <laughs> Cause it's like I'm shying away from it. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Go into Blender, and we'll go to Shader Editor, we'll reload that. Oh, that that's good enough, I think. Actually, I want to make the bottom of the dress, even though you're never going to see it a little bit darker. So, we'll just darken that up. And we'll blue shift it a bit. There we go. Yeah, reload that. Is it? That is what it's mapped to, right? You, the editor. Yeah, it's that. Okay, we'll need to make it even darker, I guess. Oh yeah, we also did the the tails troll thing. That's probably too old of a reference, but I I, I just like that drawing so much. There we go. That's good enough. Wow, that dress is bright. But that works. Yeah, that, that looks holiday y enough. What do y'all think? Good God, that is bright. Okay, I'm gonna reduce the saturation a little it's just this front part that's really blown out oh no i've been running oh dang it this one is actually kind of appropriate because like um this is like a reference to ronnie um a character in um elden ring um and so she is a uh doll that has her like soul kind of bound to it and so her soul is kind of like a little ghost face next to her head. And this is sort of like a doll that I'm bound to. I'm trapped in this polygonal prison. So yeah, ghost face next to this actually makes Ronnie mode work a little better. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, I don't have Ronnie mode for the low poly uh, clothes, though. Ah, fuck it. Whatever. That's too much work. Let me write it down. I might never do it, but I gotta write it down. Uh, let's see. Low poly Ronnie clothes. There we go. That's a lot of emotes. I'm glad you're all enjoying those. Okay. Okay. This should do her. There we go. There. Sufficiently christmas Now I can... Oh, oh, I can breathe again, thank God. Okay, so now that we're finished with that, I think we're going to hold a little slime race. Okay, 
let's go to since we didn't get a crash we're actually oh thank you for the head pads boom we're going to actually be able to go to the second uh slime race uh course slime coast all right if you would like your little one to compete for the chance to win a fabulous new ability go ahead and type exclamation point play into chat and it might fill up because we got a lot of folks here I might have to put in, like, a, a battle royale mode where there'd be a hundred slimes. I don't know. That'd be a lot of splines that I would have to align with each other. A celebration of no crashing. Well, <laughs> knock on wood. Yeah, let's see. We have got five beans on the field. That means there's three more lanes available. Goober looks very cool. It's a very satisfying shade of purple. And the inverted eyes. Very nice. Oh, these cute little beans. Okay, I'm gonna do a count to ten. Or, well, a count to, to, to zero from ten. You know what I mean. Um, and then we will get started. Ten. Nine. Eight. Boom's little one coming in hot. I'm not gonna forget seven this time. Like, Space Buffoon posted a clip of me forgetting the number seven. Although maybe I can make it part of the lore that I that I, I can't um, count sevens. I don't know. Want to change the eyes to a bright line green? Yeah, eye color might be something that I could do in the future. I would have to change how the shaders work, but that it, that is an idea I'll write down. Okay, so where was I? I think I was on, I'll say six, five, four, three... Two, one, all right, let's start though. And I will type down that idea. Change slime eye color. Yeah, right now it's just set to either be black or white depending on what the body color is. Like if it goes below with a certain darkness threshold, it inverts. All right, Mina says little one Seru, a seasoned champion. I believe this is the first time on this racetrack. Got an early lead, but Precious pulling ahead as they become a sleepy bean. Oh, Precious become a sleepy bean themselves, allowing Halo to catch up. Oh, but Halo becoming a sleepy bean. So many sleepy beans. All right, Sarah pulling it. Oh, Sarah, I was about to say Sarah pulled ahead, but they got hit by a dolphin. Oh, so many little beans getting hit by dolphins. Allowing Halo to pull ahead as we move on to Palm Arc Island. Some of the beans are getting stuck on the first bridge. All right, looks like everybody got past the dolphin. They're gonna have to deal with a couple more dolphins later, but right now we're approaching Floatsome Bridge. Halo making their way across there. A lot of beans are making a, a wide turn but you might not be as far back as you think, because we're going to have another wide turn where you might end up catching up. All your lanes are the same length in the end, so it should even out by the time that we get to the final stretch on Slime Coast, Dolphin Gate Bridge, Halo taking a little nap as we approach that. Super Scribe Fruitsy Collins taking a little nap of their own. But not too far behind. Oh, Halo making their way to Dolphin Gate Bridge. Precious making a tight turn. Might be able to catch up. Halo's gonna have to contend with these big ass fishies. That might mix things up in the final part of the race. Very narrowly ducking and weaving between these big fishies. Oh, Precious getting knocked back. Sweet Pea getting knocked back. You hate to see it. Oh, Halo getting knocked back, allowing Precious to pull ahead. Oh, this might be a photo finish. Precious might have a little bit of advantage being a long slime. Congratulations to Precious. Taking a well-deserved rest. Looks like Sweet Pea might get that third place. Alright, we've got our winner beans. But all these beans are winners. In, in, in my eyes. My little dots that I have for eyes. Goober getting back up like a seasoned champion. Oh! 
They're not gonna let a couple of dolphins hold them back, though. They get right back up, making their way toward that finish line. Super Scribe finishing up, Goober not too far behind. Seru getting stuck in their knockback animation. I was hoping I had fixed that by now, but oh well, Seru might be stuck that way. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see what happens after the race. It looks like they might be stuck in that animation. Let's go to Race Results I and just forget that happened. Uh, video games are tough, you guys. <laughs> Congratulations to Precious. Newly named Long Slime, you're gonna win a gold flower in your cap for winning. Suki's gonna win a song. A little Chrono Trigger song. We might have an over overrepresentation of Chrono Trigger music. And Final Fantasy VI for Halo. Precious will win an extra special prize. They learned how to draw a little Pokeball. Very nice. Congratulations, everybody. Steez Hornsby's little one. Slimes be holding the world record for, um, <laughs> no such thing. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get some more songs in there, though. We gotta get some. We gotta get some Sonic the Hedgehog songs, and we gotta get some uh, Ocarina of Time songs in there. Oh, we are having a little ad break as Precious gets head pats from Super El Saco. Super El Saco not able to give me head pats, but able to give their their little one head pats. So. Oh, drawing a little Space Invader on the ground. Let's see. So, we finished the texture for the low poly model. And we are back from the ad break. It occurs to me that somebody... You can do that now. Yeah, you do have a, a, a two-dimensional head pad, so you can do. Um... It occurs to me that somebody uh, redeemed Water Break um, like an hour ago, but I didn't actually uh, uh, have a break. So I'm going to redeem that myself, and I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Duke, duke. There we go. A little bit of Wind Waker water. And that's going to let me take a nap, and then we'll go to the slime cam. Seems like slimes are able to survive underwater, so I will be right back as Jay Sherman would want to say. Oh, always casting lightning underwater. Kind of ill-advised, but seem to be handling okay. All right, I will be RB. Meow. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, very nice welcome and back song for uh from Chrono Trigger there. I am returned. And I think we're going to do another slide. Oh, I am still in sleep mode. Hello, everybody. I'm back. And my hand tracking is not working. Let me see, let me see there. There we go. Hand tracking. There's, there's righty. There's lefty. Very nice. So I think we're going to do another slime race uh, to pick the energy up a little bit. And then we'll get back to work after that. So let us pause the Leroy Hudson music as much as it pains me to do so because we got the Sonic R soundtrack, baby. Alright, type exclamation point play if you would like your little one to be whisked away to Slime Race Island for another chance to win another thing. One of the things we're going to do in December is that we're going to have little presents drop in the baby jail. And you'll also... Oh, Sarah, there you go. Sarah's stuck in that animation. Unfortunately, I don't think there's much I can do to fix that. Unless their state machine somehow uh, gets put back in order. I'm very sorry about that, Saru. Saru should still function correctly. It's just the animations are going to be a bit scuffed. <laughs> Saru's hitbox is actually, like, right there next to Precious's, so... Animation's a little scuffed. Kind of a one-man show here. You know, just a one envy show. Alright, we're gonna do a ten count. And then we'll get started. In ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Oh, we had another baby. Oh, Cup is a cat, and uh. Oh, and Manasse had a little, uh, had a baby named, uh. Cup is to say. That's a cute little name. Not sure how to say it, but it looks nice on paper. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. We'll see. Oh, Saru. Saru's trying their best. <laughs> Just rail grinding their way across Slime Race Island. Oh, there we go. Let's see if Sarah's animation gets fixed. Mm. All right, I'm gonna have to take another look at that state machine to see if there's some way to get back into the swing of things after, uh... You would think getting out of sleep mode would fix things, but anyway, that, enough shop talk. Uh, we, we have a slime race, baby. Sl Sweet Pea is getting to the bottom of Bunny Hill, taking an early lead. <laughs> Just typing some notes here, state, machine, or knockback. There, I'll remember what that means. Alright, making our way to Waterfall Bridge. Slime Race Island will also get a little bit of a makeover for, uh... <laughs> a little bit of a makeover for the holiday season. We're gonna make it kind of snowy, like we did for uh, Spooky Month. And I think uh, Slime Coast will stay the same, except maybe we'll add a snow effect to it. I was thinking of making the water frozen, but since we didn't premiere it that long ago, I'd like to keep it looking the same for now. Maybe next year. Alright, Sweet Pea maintaining their lead as we move on to the final stretch of Slime Race Island. Geyser Valley. Oh, just narrowly avoiding that geyser. Sweet Pea is on their way to victory, it would seem. If R and Jesus doesn't have something to say about it, R and, R and Jesus, our Lord and Savior of the racetrack. Saru just sliding their way. <laughs> it looked like Saru got hit by that water spout, but their actual hitbox is about a foot in front of them, so <laughs> bold strategy. Alright, Sweet Pea winning their first race of the evening. Precious getting knocked back. Getting right back up. Sarah returning to their sleeping animation. <laughs> I'm really going to take a look at that state machine. Finishing the, the race despite all appearances. Not doing their idle animation, but... I don't know. 
All right, Precious finishing up. Let's go to the Race Results Island to see what these three little beans want. Everybody's gonna win something. All right, congratulations to Sweet Pea for winning their race. You can see, you see Sarah's messed up there a little bit. They're not doing their idol pose, but... Precious is gonna win a little Yoshi's Island song. Sarah's gonna be stone-faced while they play their flute. Absolutely, Mowgli. <laughs> Learning a little fire spell, very nice. <laughs> Sarah is very zen right now. Oh, this is, Saru has learned to be still, as they say in the meditation community. No, it's it's definitely not my um, misunderstanding of state machines. I keep saying state machine. Um, state machine is a thing in Unreal Engine, like animation uh, blueprints. It's basically like when the character is in this state, put them in this animation, you know, like the logic that decides like what animation they're doing at a given time. Um, and yeah, I, something's messed up in their like knockback animation state that's like carrying over. There's some boolean somewhere that I need to reset somewhere. I'll figure it out. Anyway, we're going to get back to work. So we finished the Santa texture for the low poly model. We're going to move on to the high poly mo uh, like if functions. Yeah, if functions pretty much. Um, what I'm doing for the state machine is basically like, so let's see, let me get a picture of a state machine just so there's like a visual aid for what I'm talking about. State machine. Um, let's see, unreal. Okay, so this might be a good image for it. So we'll go to green screen mode for this so I can make it a little larger. Say, so, oh, where's my boy? Oh, there I am. I don't know why I didn't show up. But yeah, so this is kind of what a state machine looks like in an animation blueprint. You basically have these um, little uh, rectangles and they contain information for what the character is going to be doing in that state. Like... In the falling state, you would have like your falling animation and these little um, these little icons here are sort of like keys or they're sort of like locks that you put a key into. And usually if you double click on that, you would get like logic for like um, like if character is moving over such and such speed or if falling state is yes then you have permission to move on to this state and you would move on to this animation is sort of how it works. You can kind of think of it as like a house with a bunch of rooms. And in order to um, go to this room, you need the key to, you know, to go down this hallway, if that makes any kind of sense. My head pants, the head pats animation is weird in green screen mode. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hopefully that makes some kind of sense. I would open the blueprint um, for the slimes, uh, but I don't think I can stream and uh, run that at the same time. Oh, I've been Ronnie'd, and for some reason the Ronnie faces offset a bunch. Oh, oh, there it goes. That was weird. <laughs> oh, he tarnished. Yeah, still a student of this stuff. <laughs> Uh, Morphine says I am done emptying fridge jump, and now am reward time. Very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're spending your reward time on the stream. Yeah, very glad to have you uh, here when you're available, Morphine. Uh, I, m I miss hanging out with you. I wish we could do I wish we could do that more often. But it's nice to have you um, in the studio uh, spending time with my weird Internet puppet that looks nothing like I do in real life. Spoiler alert. I don't look like this in real life. You can probably tell from my voice. Uh Oh, What song is this? Oh, yeah. I wanna be your lover! <laughs> it's a print song. Yeah. Actually, yeah, let's actually listen to that song. Uh, Prince, be your... Yeah, here we go. We'll listen to the actual song. There we go. That This is the song that that's a shitty midi of.
<laughs> Look at that album cover. What a beast of a man. <laughs> oh. Hope you have a good day, Fruitsy. Oh, if you're heading out of Cyrus, I, I I hope you have a good rest of your evening. And thank you for spending some of your valuable time in in the studio. I really appreciate it. Yeah, this is a uh, this is Prince playing right now. I'm very fond of Prince, both because I like funk music and because I like purple. Oh, Water Break. Yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Gotcha, Cyrus. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a water sip. I need to go refill it, actually. Oh, I opened my refrigerator to get more of my water, and I saw a pie in there. I bought a pie for my family that I'm going to be visiting tomorrow for, for, for Turkey Day. And, uh, yeah, I really had to summon some willpower to not just take the pie out and eat it like a little fucking gremlin, so. I think one of my family members might actually be in chat, so you're welcome. Okay, so we need to find the texture for the high poly avatar. So that's the body. Okay, so this, I think this is the texture that we're using for the high poly model. Uh, let's see, Morphine says, oh, what kind of pie is it? It is a uh, Marionberry uh, pie. Which, uh, if you don't know, Marionberry is like, um, it's something that's grown in kind of my region of the country. I don't want to dox myself, but it's kind of like a more sour, like blueberry. It's really good. The, they put it in a lot of uh, like uh, pastries here. Um, let's see. Morphine says my uncle, my uncle made an egg tart pie, and while he often uh, doesn't succeed, man, did he ever this time. That that sounds very good. Yeah, egg egg tart is. Um, is a it is a what am I trying to it is a balancing beam tightrope that's the word I was thinking of yeah egg tart is a tightrope that could be very very good or very very bad so um congratulations to your uncle on on uh uh threading that needle uh, of that egg tart needle which uh yeah egg tart wouldn't make for a good needle material usually they're made of metal it's a lot better at, at poking through things coconut pie the other day interesting let's see dark town bunny hello oh oh well <laughs> dark town bunny i wasn't gonna say it but yeah i am in the pacific northwest uh th thank you for jo uh joining the channel first time chat uh fam had to buy a new pecan pie because we were all equally responsible for the last one's destruction i see how uh, oh i am no longer was I Ronnie? Yeah, I think I was Ronnie. But yeah, welcome to the channel, Darktown Bunny. Since you chatted for the first time, you should have a little slime. Oh, and Tanchu, hello! Um, it might be hard to see your slime, but we have a little virtual pet system here. You can use the Pet Your Slime Redeem, and the camera will focus in on them. Like, I'm gonna do that for my little boy, uh, Goop here. Boy, this song is still going on, huh? Oh, there you go. Yeah, Super El Sucko is uh, demonstrating that. Yeah, it will hide all the other slimes so you can see yours. And yeah, there's all kinds of things you can do with the redeems to customize them. And we have a save system here. So anything you do to your little one, anything they learn how to do, any hats you put on them will uh, persist between streams. So if you visit us again, <laughs> we're in black and white mode. Uh, they will come back the way that you left them. Let me catch up with chat because some people have been saying stuff. Oh, uh, Danktown, but oh, Danktown Bunny. Excuse me, I said Darktown Bunny. You've been lurking for a while. Also, a big Bootsy fan. Uh, you, well, you're in very good company here. I am obviously a a Bootsy fan. Um, because of my people could probably guess from my name. And Seru is still stuck in their knockback animation. They're trying their best. <laughs> Old timey mode. 
I need to come up with a bit for old timey mode. Bye-bye. Let's see. I'll just say, uh, waka waka. You know, it'd be kind of funny as if we had like a circle wipe to like close in on my face and go wink, and then it closes. I don't know. That could be a fun way to end low poly mode. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Oh, I'm, I'm T-Pose. That means one thing. Cat the Steel Pants is here. Hello, Cat the Steel Pants. But yeah, I just thought of a fun idea for ending um, old timey mode before we return back to color. I could do like a circle wipe on the face. Maybe I could have a sound alert to let me know to get ready for it. I don't know. Might be more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> that's all, folks. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Petting your little slime tanchu. Let me write that down, actually. Yeah, as in, in the old idea pile. Let's see. Uh, circle wipe for uh, old timey mode. There we go. Yeah. We haven't had any crashes tonight. Very, very nice. We have had some redeems get skipped, though, which isn't good, but it is better. Okay, so here's the dress texture for the character. Oh, we had a baby. Julie, hello! Eating a spooky fruit on your way to being a skull slime. That's some prime rape here. Had a, had a kid slime named uh, Dead Suer. <laughs> hello, Julie. Oh, uh, Mowgli saying don't jinx it. Yeah, that's, that is, that is fair. Uh, Julie, hello! Very much a friend of the show. Very, very happy to see you. You've caught me um, without without color. So. <laughs> no crashes so far. Yeah, Super El Sucko, unfortunately, has had some of their redeems ignored. Like for some reason, Unreal really doesn't like uh, Super El Sucko trying to head pat me. I don't know. Twitch be be weird sometimes. <laughs> Mushroom hat. Very nice. That is a November exclusive item that all of you um, who have uh, been in chat should have permission to equip forever now. So, yeah, whenever you want that, that is in the uh, redeems menu. Thank you, Captain Steel Pants, for the head pads. For some reason, the points menu is stuck for me. Like on Twitch, the little bar scroll isn't there. Are you doing it on um, on desktop? Oh my god, uh, hang on a second. Thank Tom Bunny, it moderate. oh my god, it moderated your message for saying in the butt. Okay, I'm gonna allow that. You've heard the Twitch API is a huge pain in the butt. <laughs> I had to approve that comment. Because I guess it thought you were talking about something else. Uh, which, like, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't have too much control over Twitch's moderation. I don't want to turn it off because, you know, this is for mature audiences, but it's also not for Nazis. So I don't want to I don't want to turn moderation off completely, but I don't have a whole lot of customization over it. <laughs> it's a difficulty in the posterior. Yes. Uh oh. God, September is a good song, even in shitty midi form. <laughs> All right. Oh, Super El Sucka, you make a very good point there. <laughs> Super El Sucka's is a slime is a long slime, and they just recently changed it to kind of a fleshy looking color, and uh. They, if they wore a mushroom hat, that might look a little uh, sus, as the as as the youth are wont to say. <laughs> oh, you've been blinded. Yeah. Um. Oh, there we go. Yeah, in black and white mode. Um. The <laughs> it's sussy. Very nice. Man, that's a that's a nice color combo. Yeah. <laughs> Did not plan how the mushroom hat might look on a long slime. <laughs> oh, 
Live Slime, hello! I'm gonna go ahead and shout you out, because we have a time zone difference that makes it so that we aren't able to stream at the same time sometimes, so I'm gonna... Let's see, let me type your name in here. Slime Slime. And then we're gonna shout you out. Bye-bye. Yeah. So, Slime Slime um, is another uh, VTuber that, ha that, is, that is slime uh, related. Um, I'm going to show a little clip of them because their character's super cute and they have fun uh, redeems that you can do. Uh, and we'll go to the slime cam while we do that because it's, it's slime time, baby. <laughs> Oh, we had a baby. Question. Oh, and we have commercials, which is great, because I, I I love capitalism so much. Let's see. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's go to green screen mode so I can show Slime Slime's character. Look at that. Look at that. You got a little, little slime up there. Very cute. You can put hats on them, and they play a bunch of video games, and you can have your own little slime character in the corner there and do all kinds of redeems with them. Look how adorable. Look how adorable Slime Slime is. Yeah, very happy, very happy to have you as a guest on the channel. Definitely give Slime Slime a follow. If if you're if you're into slimes, and I think you probably are if you're here. <laughs> oh, Super Earl Suckers says BRB, the pup needs to go potty. Oh, pup pups and their potties. <laughs> Kawaii, absolutely. Sugoi. <laughs> Stacky, then, eh? Oh, nine sturdy for You're almost there. Yeah, spooky and sturdy. Yeah, that's a new form. Ten big fruit. <laughs> Need 12k textures. Oh god. Yes, a lot of the textures for the assets in this scene are like. I think we have a couple of 112s in here. The egg is probably 256, I think. But yeah, some of those controllers over there. Um, that you can't see now, because good god, there's a lot of slimes, are all, like, sharing, like, a 256. Not 256k, good god, that would be a lot. I mean, like, 256 pixels. Mm. Let's see, we're gonna paint a little mask here. Because that's better than using... Oh, thank you for watering, Mandy. That is a lot better than trying to use the polygonal lasso tool while I'm keeping up with chat. So we'll just paint this black and then we'll use that to make a, uh, a mask layer. This is Brendan Haywood. Or no, not... Uh, oh, Brenton Wood. I got him mixed up with uh, Leon Haywood. Mm. Sounds so nice. Mm. A new soul arrives. Oh, thick red! Hello. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Oh, we love seeing Padlock, and we love seeing you. How's it going, Thick Red? Thick Red is 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 an IRL friend that I have, um, who I'm very happy to see in here. How's it going? We haven't talked in a while. Thank you so much for subscribing. Yeah, we uh things are a little crowded over there, but um if you type in chat, you will get a little uh a little slime. We have a little virtual pet system here. So the first time people chat, it will summon a little slime from the sky. And if you want to see them close up, you can uh, use the channel redeems. And any slime related redeems will uh, show them off and hide all the other slimes. So that's the way that we deal with clutter here. It is a straight up rave over there. Absolutely. 
Actually, we can make it... <laughs> Speaking of raves... I actually do, since we have so many more people in chat, I'd actually like to show off our theme song that we have. Let's see. Because we have a theme song that friend of the show Dead Sun Prime made for us. Let's see, I have a little command for doing that. Oh, it didn't hide the other slimes. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Goop is performing. A little solo a on the Fisher Price piano. Collins, can't you see? Hopefully, the evolution doesn't happen during the song. Charm, enchant your soul. Magical witch girl. Thank you for the follow. I'll replay She'll that alert. Spell, make when we your finish heart this up. Fruitsy Collins, she's got that magic touch. With her spell, looks like the egg is playing it. Charm you so much. Hello, Nano! Fruitsy Collins, she's We're playing our theme song like right now. No other like no other. In her jazzy world, oh, my boy Goop has such a lovely Estelle-esque singing voice. Forever, forever, oh yeah. Sarah's trying their best. <laughs> yeah, that's our theme song. Let me turn the uh, music back on. Let's see, is our music on? There we go, cool. Let me catch up a chat a little bit. But yeah, first time chat. Nano, uh, you are the one who followed the channel, I believe. Okay, so we're gonna replay your follower alert. There you go, thank you for following, really appreciate that. Um, and Tanchu, I will go ahead and refund. Yeah, we don't accept uh, uh, hex colors. It's RGB. But I'll go ahead and refund your points after the stream. Let's make sure I don't misspell your name. Oh, we got an evolution. <laughs> Boom, if you'd like to see your long slime, you go ahead and uh, redeem the, the, the pet redeem, because good god, there's a lot of boys over there. <laughs> huh. That's weird. I think you spelled it correctly, uh, Morphine. Um, I'll go ahead and refund your points later. That's weird, I think you did spell it right. Hmm, maybe try it not capitalized? <laughs> there you go. Let's see, that's a zero, and then R-F-I-N-E. Refund, uh, evolution. There we go, I'll take care of that after the stream. Oh yeah, I got I gotta I gotta fix that. I gotta make the equipment slot for long slimes um in the uh, further on in the back. I haven't had time to do that because I was mostly focused on fixing the crashes, which I think has worked pretty much. We haven't had a crash yet. We are having trouble with Super El Sucko's redeems, but it's better than them crashing the stream. Oh, very nice witch hat. Um, if oh, do you mean changing the slimes uh, colors right here? Um, they don't have um an alpha value, yeah, or at least nothing is plugged into it. I think technically I could make the slimes more transparent, but um, yeah, the the the, the redeem does not uh feed alpha into their. I think that shader does technically support it. Oh, I see Tanshu. The baby gel's overflowing. Yeah, I gotta think of um the channel's getting larger. And so are some of the slimes, so we're gonna have to figure out some layout um fixes.
Let's see, I don't think these are even I don't think we're using this part of the texture anymore, but whatever we'll we'll mask it out anyway. Slimes on the shelf for the capitalism holiday. One thing I do want to do is have like a little dynamic like uh um trophy uh like on the desk or maybe on the shelf for who the current world record holder is for each of the slime courses. So it would probably just be like a little um like platform model and then it would update the appearance of the slime on it to look like the one that has the world record um but we would apply like a gold shader to it or something. But we gotta finish the holiday stuff first because it is fast approaching. Podium action, absolutely. I don't think, since these are so close together, I don't think these are actually UVing anything. <laughs> One wing and angel, yeah. Oh, my boy Jango's being very noisy. He's not getting past my sound gate. Oh, Tanchu, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Very nice trumpet solo, Sir Pants. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, Tanchu. I I'm glad you were able to uh, to catch the stream this time. Yeah, thank you for the compliments about the slime system. Oh, very nice. A link to the past song, whoever played that. Let me go ahead and say this is a PSD so I don't lose progress. Uh, that was magical. What happened, uh, Morphe? I think that was. If you're talking about that music, uh, I think that was just a slime playing a song. Let's see. Uh, let's, see let's just call this Christmas, because I don't want to accidentally save over the original file, because that'd be bad. Yeah, you can win um, songs like that during the races. And I think we'll hold another slime race after I finish painting the mask for the dress here. Oh, yeah, your slime doesn't know a song yet. so Or they, they don't know a special ability yet. You gotta win a race to get those. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold one of those in a minute here. I just want to finish um, selecting this. Let's see, expand that by five. Don't fill that with black. There we go. We're gonna make the the dress red, so we're painting a mask. You're gonna say the grunt mumble sounds accurate for me. Yeah, in case anybody doesn't realize, the, all those mumbles and grumbles are 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 my voice acting with a little bit of EQ and pitch shifting on there. How are you doing, uh, sweet Fruzy? Oh, Rayorin, thank you. I'm doing very well. We're having quite a party in here. I'm getting used to having so many uh, people in chat. Uh, the things have been kind of snowballing for the channel lately. So speaking of snowballs, we're doing some... Uh, we're doing some holiday-themed stuff. That was a stupid segue. I forget I said that. Okay, so we're done painting the mask there. We're going to make my dress red for the holidays. But for right now, we're going to pause the music and make our way to Slime Coast, I believe will be queued up. Oh, thank you for the head pat. Oh, did that work? Oh, Super El Seca was able to head pat me. Oh, it's a Christmas miracle. Let's let's celebrate by going to somewhere that doesn't look Christmassy at all. <laughs> Alright, if you would like your little one to join uh, this race, go ahead and type exclamation point play into chat. And even if you don't have a slime yet, it will make one for you. So you don't have to have chatted yet. Oh, Sussy looks so pretty. That's such a nice, pretty purple. Look at our little grimace shake there. <laughs> 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 
Wait, there's an image of Sephiroth using a Segway? Let me Google that. Okay, it looks like we are filled up, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the race while I look up a picture of Sephiroth on a Segway. Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> a little Matsumune Segway. I'll show that after the race. All right. We are off to Toe Dip Valley here on Slime Coast. If you're new to the channel, the way these races work is that your little one has a chance of falling asleep every once in a while. If they fall asleep, you can type cheer in chat to wake them up a little bit faster, and anything with cheer in it will work if you get moderated for multiple, uh, you know, repeat messages. So we are making our way across the first bridge here. This big-ass fishy can push your little ones back a bit, as you can see right there. Oh, getting knocked back again. Hopefully none of the slimes get serued, as I'm going to refer to their animation getting screwed up as. Sometimes they can get stuck in that knockback animation. Oh, and it looks like that might have happened to Ray's little guy, maybe. Oh, god. Oh, I'm doing this all myself, folks. It's a little janky sometimes. Gotta look at their animation blueprint again. Alright, but for right now, Sweet Pea is, uh, pulling ahead as we go across Floatsome Bridge. But we're gonna... I think Sweet Pea is gonna make a pretty wide turn, so they might not be able to maintain that lead. A lot of these slimes are gonna be taking tighter turns based on what lane they're in. should end up evening out once we get to the final stretch. Precious making a very tight turn as we make our way to Dolphin Gate Bridge, where there'll be three big porpoises to deal with. Kind of mix things up in the last stretch. <laughs> Ray's little guy just kind of rail grinding their way across <laughs> Bridge. Oh, it looks like their animation might have gotten fixed, actually. Well, that's nice. <laughs> oh, the dolphins give it and they take it away. And they fix the slime state machine, apparently. Alright, looks like Squeesh might be our winner. Congratulations to Thick Red winning their first slime race. Very solid performance. You're going to be winning an extra special prize. The first three slimes that finished will be winning prizes, and we'll figure out who those were, because it was sort of a photo finish there for the other two. What? Go, baby, go. Absolutely, Tanchu. Sussy finishing up. Wild finishing up. Goober finishing up. Goober won first place on our other racetrack earlier this evening. All right, let's go to the race results island to see what everybody won. Well, not everybody, the first three slimes. You know what I mean. Let's just get over there. <laughs> All right, congratulations to Squeeze for winning their first race. They're going to be getting a little gold flower in their cap to commemorate it. Ray's little guy is going to win a little Chrono Trigger song. We have a lot of Chrono Trigger songs. Good God. Sweepy's going to win a little Mario song. And Squish will win an extra special prize. And then we crash. Oh, good God. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Thick Red. Let's launch the, the stream again. What, what kind of error? Infinite loop detected. Okay, I am going to take a screenshot of that. Uh, actually, let me take a look at where this infinite loop is. We're going to do a little bit of debugging real quick. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's get out of full screen mode. All right, so, oh, there's an infinite loop somewhere in the spell learnings. Okay, you are going to learn a wind spell, so I'll go ahead and after the stream, I will manually teach your slime a wind spell. I remember to do that thick red, so sorry about that. Let's go ahead and relaunch the stream. Okay. So that might actually be a good way of cleaning out the baby jail a bit. Um, the next time you guys type, your slime will come back the way that you left them. Very sorry about that thick red. Let's turn the music back on.
I'm going to type down, okay, teach thick reds. Let me make sure I'm writing your name correctly. Okay, two C's and two D's. Nuts. Okay, teach thick reds, slime a wind spell. I will do that after the stream. Magic so powerful it broke the stream. Yeah, level one wind spell. Pretty, pretty powerful. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll have to. I'll have to look into what that is. That's interesting. Yeah, because we haven't had the stream crash during um, results screens before, so that's interesting. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna have my boy cast a spell of his own. There you go, a little light spell. That's my ghost slang goop. <laughs> yeah, I'm catching up with chat. Nice prize, I love an infinite loop. Yeah, enjoy your spell, uh, infinite loop. <laughs> if I missed anything important in chat, uh, please let me know. Because I scrolled back a bit and it's a lot of cheers, so... You just wanted to see your little dude? I think you were just able to, right? Okay, so that's going to be the red mask. And then we want the um, collar to be white. So this is the collar. Very nice. Oh! Interesting. It looks like there's some kind of error with uh, Danktown Bunny's slime, maybe. That's interesting. It looks like he put in the thing correctly. I'll go ahead and refund those points after the stream. Well, Danktown Bunny, I, th I thought I had fixed that. Because I, 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 ba I changed the way that the um slime color redeem works so that formatting isn't as big of a deal but i might have to take another look at that there's probably just some edge case that i didn't uh take into account let's see redeem Okay, so that's going to be white. I think this is also the collar, so we'll also paint that white. Oh, yeah, Tanchu, that, um, yeah, that was only unlockable in October. You can unlock the mushroom hat, though. I'll go ahead and refund that, um, as well after the screen. Just so we don't derail things too much, because I'm already working pretty slowly. Okay, so those are the shoes. <laughs> Working your redeem for a debugging stream. Yeah, uh Thick Red, we've tried um we've tried dev streams before. I I can't do those. Um I work very slowly and if I have to work on something that involves like reading text, I just I I can't. It, it's also hard to run the streaming environment. Um and then also run Unreal Engine at the same time. It's possible, but also um, some plugins don't really work if I try to export the stream as like a standalone program so I can still use Unreal Engine. It was a big pain in the ass, and I also can't really do that kind of work while I'm streaming, so I just kind of canned the whole idea. So, yeah. Okay, these are the shoes, these big gray things. Oh yeah, uh Thick Red does have experience with Unreal Engine of their own. Bye -bye. 
Yeah, it's a weird thing I'm trying to do, and I'm still very much um like um beginner dash intermediate with Unreal Engine, so and I don't have a whole team of people working with me on this. It's just me. So although I do ask people for troubleshooting sometimes. Actually, I do that a lot. <laughs> what am I talking about? Yeah, uh, oh, I thought that was Dead Sun. Uh, Dinktown Bunny, you, uh, both have kind- you and Dead Sun Prime have similar usernames and the same color, so I almost called you Dead Sun. Um, but yeah, that's a very good point that you're making. Oh, my hat's back to normal. Oh, yeah, we also did change the uh, slime color redeem um, a while ago to also just accept names of colors. So um, if you don't have a really specific R&B value that you uh, R&B <laughs> RGB. <laughs> Oh god, R and B rhythm and blues. Um, yeah, you can just type the name of a color, and there are a lot of colors in the like array of things. Um, there's stuff like um, turquoise and and lemon and all that shit. So um, if you type in a color name, it odds are it will um, it will be valid for something. But if you want to get really specific, you could put an R G B value as well. Oh, Rhea Rin says, yeah, there's some work that just needs to be done on your own. Yeah, um, I do end up doing a lot of work off stream because sometimes the stuff that I'm doing on the stream ends up being like a first draft and then I kind of rework it like later on. The streams are mostly just for me enjoying being around chat, so. <laughs> you want your slime to sound like Usher? Yeah, we do have a lot of R&B on this stream. Yeah, my name comes from uh, Bootsy Collins, who is a um, like R and B funk bass player. Scarlet, I'm pretty sure Scarlet's in there. I thought it was. Is that really not a color I thought of? Okay, well let me <laughs> let me type that down. Okay, I type that down. I'll check that out later. Dark red should work, yeah. Yeah, I did put in, like... There we go. Okay, I guess I just forgot Scarlet. That's weird. I thought of as, of as many colors as I could. Yeah, um, you can also um, Google has a color picker. Like if you just Google the word color picker, um, it has like a little uh, tool that will spit out an RGB uh, color for you. Very nice spell, Halo. Halo's got quite a spell book. They've been watching the stream for a long time. I've won quite a few prizes. Oh, oh, I got a bunch of lag there for a second. Oh, did you get a... Oh, I see. Oh, wow, it went back and deleted a lot of your messages. I'm sorry about that. What were you trying to share, uh, Dinktown? Or what were you... I, I guess you weren't sharing a link. What were you, uh, trying to say with a, a dot? Uh -huh. Oh, did you put a period after the PNP funk? <laughs> can we? Yeah, gotcha. Well, let's see if we can play some P funk. 
Yeah. Let's see. Let's look in our. I think we got some Funkadelic in here. Hi. Yeah, let's. There we go. We'll play some Funkadelic. Hi. There's a, the, the I like a lot of Parliament music, but a lot of Parliament music is like very, Hi. um, like dance focused and um, like high energy for kind of the uh, for background music. Oh, you have much mothership connection on vinyl. I yeah, I do too. I've got it um kind of hanging on my wall. I don't have a decent um I don't have a decent record player. I have one of those crappy ones that they had at like um not hot topic. What's that other store where they would and eh, not worth remembering. But yeah, I've got it in a frame on my wall. I've got in my hallway, I've got a line of a couple of P-Funk albums and some, like, Curtis Mayfield stuff. It's sort of like a hallway feature. Okay, so these are, this is the mask for the shoes. Oh, my God, shoes. And this is the um, collar. This is the dress. Hot Topic, uh, Thick Red says, remember that place from back in the day? Yeah, I think it's all Funko Pops now. <laughs> Just FNAF Funko Pops. Okay, so let's see. Hue saturation. Okay, so there's red. Oh yeah, they do have anime stuff there now, huh? I'm just so used to thinking of it as like the My Chemical Romance and um, Jack Skellington store. Never been in a Hot Topic myself? Yeah. Yeah, it's you you know, you're not missing too much. Yeah, uh Morphe, I I'm kind of inclined to agree with you. I haven't been one in probably like 3 years at least. So, I haven't been to a mall in quite a while. But yeah, I don't strongly disagree with that. Oh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't mind the word bondage. As long as it's not being... Yeah, I, it's, it's fine. It's not a horny stream, but mentioning that the word bondage exists isn't, like, a problem. I'm gonna have to go to a mall sooner or later to get a new pair of jeans. So I'm not going to order them through the mail. Oh, did it? It's replaying the song. I have this on my... I have this on here twice. There we go. Uh, Sorry. Sorry if it played the same song twice. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, Now that we've played some P-Funk, let's just put it back on rando. There we go, we'll slide in the family stone. Let's see, this is... I like this color, but it's making the dark part very dark. <laughs> Talk about Jinko jeans. Did anybody have Ruse? I remember Ruse. Not to age myself too much, but Ruse were popular for a minute. Oh, I have a low battery. Hang on. About to lose my charge. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a break, actually. We'll we'll BRB. And yeah, check some messages. Uh. 
Okay, I am back. I think we're actually going to start wrapping things up because Dead Sun Prime, friend of the show, is starting to stream Fortnite. Oh, Ray's a little guy looking very cool with the sword and shield. Yeah. So, friend of the show, Dead Sun Prime is starting up his stream, and usually I pop in there uh, to when he's playing Fortnite. Um, so, but we're going to have one slime race uh, to end the evening off, and then... We will go ahead and, and raid him and, and keep the party going. So let's go ahead and head on over to Slime Race Island to have one final competition. You know, it's funny. This runs in the same engine as, as, as Fork Knife. So. Fork Knife. Oh, God. It's kind of like how I got used to saying uh, uh, Bando Namkai instead of uh, Namkai Ban Bandai. Namco, oh my god. See, sometimes you say the joke version so uh, so much that it becomes normal for you, and then you have trouble saying it the right way. <laughs> Off to kill some kids in, in Minecraft in Fortnite. Yes, absolutely super real sucko. Uh, go ahead and type exclamation point play into chat. Oh, we're having an ad break. Uh, we will... Let me, let me type this for people that can't see it. There we go. Okay, I'm just uh, typing a message to people that can't see because uh, of the ad. Oh, Critter! Hello, Kisa! Alright, we got one more spot available. Alright, if y'all are back uh, from the ad break, we've got one more uh, spot available on the racetrack. You still have time to join if you'd like to. Alright, we will start in... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, we are going to start -o. the final slime race of the evening. And yes, Ray and I, 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 I agree with you 100%. All right, we are off to the races. Look at all these colorful old beans. We're making our way to the top of Bunny Hill, the first destination on Slime Race Island. This is the OG course, so it's a lot simpler than Slime Coast. But we're going to decorate it really nice for the holidays. We're going to make it a winter wonderland, I think. Alright, Wibble, very cute name, is making their way to the bottom of Bunny Hill. <laughs> very much looking like a little hamburger. Taking an early lead as we make our way to Waterfall Bridge, the second destination on Slime Race Island. Fall Wibble falling asleep for a tiny bit, but their guardian is quite an expert at these slime races, waking them up right away. Able to maintain their lead, but Ray's little guy is right on their heels. Even though slimes don't have heels, they just kind of have one big mollusky foot. <laughs> Right. Things are staying pretty even. It's still anybody's race. Too early to call as we move on to the final stretch. Hit <laughs> you the mall's foot absolutely thick red. As we move on to Geyser Valley, where RNG Jesus just loves to hang out and mess up any but everybody's day. Wibble getting past their geyser. Heading towards victory. Goober and Ray's little guy and Critter are going to have to put in a lot of work if they want to beat Wibble, but they might still be able to get second place. And Ray's little guy getting past their geyser. But I think Wibble might be our winner. Oh, and they got a new world record for this course. Congratulations! 156. Very nice. Ray's little guy finishing up, and I believe Goober got third place. Possibly Critter, but I think it was Goober. That finish line is a little amorphous, so we'll see. Precious finishing up. Sussy not too far behind. Squish not very far behind. Very tight race. Absolutely phenomenal. 
performance out of all these little ones. Squish one first place earlier before we had the crash on Slime Coast. Alright, let's go to Race Results Island to see what, you, what these little beans won, and hopefully we don't get a crash. <laughs> I'd hate the end the evening with a crash. But congratulations, Wibble, Goober, and Ray's little guy. You're gonna get a feather in your cap. Which, you have a mushroom, so it's kind of hidden, but <laughs> Goober winning a little song. Ray's little guy winning a Yoshi's Island song. And Wibble hopefully learning a spell without crashing things. Oh, learning a little fire spell. Absolutely love to see it. Love to see the stream not crash. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Enjoy your prizes. So we are gonna um we are going to raid Dead Sun Prime. Friend of the show. There you go, Wibble. Looking very nice with a slime hat. Uh witch hat, excuse me. So yeah, um if you don't know Dead Sun Prime, Dead Sun is a friend of the show. Petting precious there. We're gonna go to the friend mm -hmm. shelf. Dead Sun Prime is that little octopus um on the spaceship. That's a little chibi version of their character. Oh yeah, absolutely, uh, Rapier. Um, if you stick around for the raid, you'll get some channel points. But before we do that, I just want to thank you all so much for tuning in. It was a really fun night. We had a ton of people here. I'm getting used to being um, a, a better host of, of such a, a big party environment. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Um, it's been great getting to know all the new people and to seeing um, some old friends come back. We haven't we I haven't seen Minase in a, in a while. Uh, Tanchu came back tonight. Rayorin. Yeah, we're building a really awesome little community here. And I'm crazy about all of you. You make me very happy uh, that I'm doing this weird Internet puppet show. So we're going to raid Dead Sun Prime and I'm going to be playing some fork knife with them if there are spots available. So we're going to start that raid. Should be a fun uh, stream and you can also hear me without my EQ that makes me sound less like a dude if you're interested in that oh precious drawing a little fishy all right we're gonna go ahead and start rating dead some prime and uh we're gonna pause the music because we have a little outro that I just commissioned some new music for but for right now it's gonna be the theme song and uh, have a very good night you guys and enjoy dead some prime as soon as I press that button. Don't embarrass me. I messed that up. <laughs>